It has 90% fewer parts than legacy cruise missiles. It can be made with 10 tools that all exist in every automotive plant. So you could make this missile at mass scale in any GM facility, in any Ford facility. And that's really important for us because if you if you can only make your missiles in this specialized factory that took you 10 years to set up, well, what, what, do you, what in the world do you do when you need 100 times more of those missiles made every day? Right. You're, 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 you're just kind of screwed. And so the United States has been doing better at this. I think like the Air Force is doing better, the Navy's doing better, the Army's doing better. Like the, the Army has a whole transformation initiative where they want all of their new weapon systems to be highly manufacturable at scale using real industrial capacity and working with private companies from the beginning to make sure that any, that they wanna make sure that any new system that they are building can be built by the American industrial economy, mm. not, you know, not only these specialized, you know, specialized aerospace technicians of which there are just not that many that's very smart 